Hi guys, I want to talk about Ridley and what I think of him. I actually played Ridley uh, for like two days, uh, a few hours a day, so I got a few hours total. So I get, I have a good amount of knowledge of the character, or a decent amount for, you know, pre-release. Anyway, so uh, as you all know, his Nair is obviously one of his best tools. Um, I don't know how safe like Shirt Hop Nair will be. One of the problems is that like Nair is like his only good like neutral one, like if you're in neutral, like to the left and right of the opponent. That's like the only area I can see really doing, because I don't really see you doing landing forward air. I'm not sure about landing back, I didn't really test it. So I'll start by go talking over his special moves first. Uh, one, one of my favorite attacks of him is the uh, the fireball attack he has. I don't know if there's like a special name for it, but where he shoots a bunch of fireballs. I like charging that up and then just shooting all the fireballs at someone. And then if you do the dash attack where you run at somebody and then hit forward on the C stick, you can dash attack as soon as frame two. Yes, that's been returned. In prior Smash games, or at least, uh, everything from Brawl to the present has had something where you could press down the C-Stick to do an instant dash attack or frame 2 of your run dash attack instead of waiting till frame 4 to press A. Now that's uh, now you press forward on the C-Stick and that still works and it works in the Pro Controller too so that's how I was able to confirm it. You just press forward on the C-Stick. I honestly thought it would be harder to make a muscle memory but it was easier than I thought. I feel like I, it would only take days after the game comes out and we'll just be used to that. Anyway, you can actually combo all your fireballs into your dash attack, and it can go from like 0 to 40 immediately. I don't know any top player that's going to actually fall for that, but it worked on all the random people I was fighting, so... But at high level, I think the fireball is going to be most useful for, like, when you have stage control. I feel like the fireball is going to be good. If you want to just let them grab the ledge, you can just let them grab the ledge, and you can shoot a bunch of fireballs over the ledge. And then you can do, like, a dash attack or short hop near over the ledge or something, and then you can cover a lot of options if they're, like, impatient off the ledge or if they jump off the ledge. It can also dip under the stage, and if you if it dips under the stage, you could run off Nair, run off Forward Air, and I think you can, might, can get an Edge Guard. I actually got someone with that. So I think the Fireballs are actually a pretty good move, uh, especially like when you have when you have control of center stage and they from a disadvantage position, because you have time to safely charge it to set it up. In neutral, I don't think it's going to work on the best players. Okay, let me talk about his Uppy. That move is horrible. That move is so slow, needs major buffs big time. That move is like the slowest thing ever, and I was literally just, and it doesn't matter if they're like a good player or a bad player, you literally just run off and hit Ridley. I don't, I felt, it didn't even feel like there was super armor, or if it did, it starts way too late. You just run off and hit him and he just dies at 0%. And I'm like, this is so stupid. And there's another problem with the up B. So I don't remember the exact angles I was doing, but there were certain angles with up B where I'm like, okay, I want to do this angle. Like I was pressing like upright, and I'll like fly downwards, and it, it, I'm like, what the heck is going on? I feel like they didn't finish that Ridley as a character, in terms of his up B. It's probably because it was like a prototype version of Ridley, but they I'm 100% sure they did not finish his up B because I definitely pressed up B and then I held up and toward the stage at an angle and I definitely went down and toward the stage. And there's been other instances where I tried to do like upwards angles and then when I'm not flying in a downward angle, I'm going like straight up and I'm like, okay, well, what are my actual options? Because this is not like as obvious as it should be. I definitely think that move needs major buffs, both in the speed, the super armor, and especially the angles you hit it. So yeah, that move's horrible. I'm sorry to say. So on the topic of completely garbage moves, just like his up B, his down B might even be worse. Uh, I can't tell because they're both so bad. So that move takes like half a second to come out. Yeah, it does like 40 damage, and then the, but then you don't really have like big frame variance. So like I feel like the raw damage is going to be it. If anything, I could see that move maybe being good in a very specific double setup if there's like a reliable way to even land it in the first place. I had the idea of testing short hop near to tech chase them and then you do like the down B to see if I can get the 40 damage. Unfortunately, it didn't work, although I, I think it jab reset them, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I can't really find like a reliable, consistent use that I think is going to work on a high level player. So as of my current knowledge, I can't find a really good use. So if people want to experiment with that, Feel free, but I mean, good luck, of course. As for side B, now that's one of his better moves. Like Fireball, I feel like that move actually has some use. The only pro I'm not sure at top level how it's going to work, because I feel like it's like frame 24 or something, so a top player might be able to like react to it. I'm not sure, because I wasn't really fighting top players, so I can't confirm or deny. But uh, not only is it a grab, and obviously doing a, a having a grab is good, and it, you can start in the air, but you can also throw people really far off the level. Uh, by just releasing it and then like the worst cut even if you release it early you still have stage control So like let's say you release the move super early and it's and you're under battlefield Okay, you're not gonna get ed get edge guard But you can force them to the ledge by doing like your short hop near to make sure they can't go over you and then like between short hop near and fireballs or even just short hop near alone, you can make sure that they're in like a bad spot, even by, by releasing it early. Because Ridley's actually really good at juggles, which I'll go over soon. He's actually really good at hitting people who are actually above him. So, uh, 
that's that's something. So I think Isabi was one of his better moves because if you hit someone, you get full stage control. In the best case scenario, you hit you get an edge guard off it, and in the worst case scenario, you still get whole complete center stage control because of a great base knockback at low damage. So yeah, that's my current opinion on his special moves after some experience with him. His jab seemed alright. I actually use his jab a lot. I didn't use F tilt much, but it's probably because of the pro controller. Um, I feel like the move's not bad. It's a good poke. Uh, I didn't personally use it, but again, not a, not having a gate control was a reason. Down tilt seems like a weaker, but probably better F tilt only because like it leads to stuff. Or I'm not sure if it's a guaranteed combo. You can down tilt fair or down tilt uh, short hop nair. Or full hop nair, full hop fair if you want more damage. I'm not sure if a true combos though. It might be a case by case basis based on the matchup percent and all that. I don't know. Obviously, you had an advantage state and it, having advantage state is pretty good. You might be able to like down tilt, short hop nair, and then be able to frame trap or something. I'm not sure. Uh, up tilt seemed pretty good. Starts behind him. I don't think it's going to be good on short characters, but I feel like it's going to be pretty useful. Dash attack, I think it's one of his best moves personally. Obviously, you know, they can just shield grab you and stuff, but it did, it did, it did like 14 damage and it was like. A really far lunge across the stage, and it can kill it like a hundred-ish. So it's actually it's a kill move. It does 14 damage, hits them off stage, and it's a big lunge. And if they're not respecting it, they can get hit by it, and it also combos off your fire at mid range. So I feel like that move definitely has its use, especially since it's not like you have to do it. Like okay, they're res they're respecting it, but then that makes all your other options better once they're respecting that. And if they're not respecting it, you get a free hit, so that could be useful. Uh, as for smash attacks, um, I found myself using up smash a lot. I just ran, hit up on the C stick. That was the easiest way to do it for me. Normally, I used to do just run and press up A, but that didn't work as well for me. But when I ran, just hit up on the C stick, it was working really well. And the kick actually starts behind him, but I, it turns out that that didn't seem to really matter. You can you can treat it the same as if it hits in front, in my experience. You just run in and do it, and then if they're above you, it can do like a lot of damage. And it seems to have pretty good priority. like. I wasn't, I wasn't really losing trades with it. I felt like I, I don't even remember if I traded. I felt like I was just beating over moves. Well, that was my personal experience anyway. Uh, down smash, obviously everyone knows of the, uh, some people were talking about how like it was weak and stuff, but I actually found it pretty useful. I'm not saying this, it was good, just I, during my little experience with it, I actually found some use out of it. I actually jumped over an attack with it. Like I evaded an attack with the stomp and then well, punished them. But yeah, I don't, that's obviously going to be his worst of the three smash attacks. And F smash is just super strong. What I was doing is I ran around the stage, like dash left, right, and I just hit in the C stick. Like we're in neutral and I think they're going to approach. I just dash away and hit forward in the C stick and do an F smash. And I hope they're approaching at that, at that time. And if they do, they get hit by an explosion that like kills them like, like 80, 100%. Like what's like 80, 90% just kills them. It's like pretty strong. And it doesn't have that much lag. So I think that's, I personally think like, F smash and up smash are probably his best smash attacks in my experience. Let's go over grabs. Uh, I know down throw seems is like a frame trap combo, but uh, I didn't actually get to experiment with that unfortunately because most of the time I got grabs, I was just throwing them off the stage anyway, and I wasn't really used to like how the L buttons are grab or you have to press R and A. It's because I wasn't used to the pro control. I never really labbed his grabs in the situations I would want to use down throw, so I can't really give honest uh, opinion on that. But obviously, that's probably going to be the go-to in most situations. Most of the time, I threw them off the level, and then people just double jump right away because that's what 99% of people do, especially if they don't place mask competitively. <clears throat> and when they do that, I just jump off an air fair and then just do like, two arrows and they usually die, even though it doesn't true combo. Some people just melee air dodge after the first one. So uh, I do that. I was doing that a lot. But up throw, um, I was looking forward to up throw being like uh, a combo, but it, it doesn't even come close to comboing. But I feel like depending on the management stage, it can be used for frame trap. You just do the up throw and then you should either full hop up air or full hop in air. I'm not sure it's better yet. But yeah, that doesn't combo, but it, the, they would have to use their one of their air dodges or their double jump as a resource so you can keep them in disadvantage. So if you grab them in like the very middle of the stage, you might want to opt for like up throw, down throw. And uh, if not, maybe you just throw them off the level. And then obviously down throw is good in other situations. Okay, so now his aerials, which is probably the best part of him. If, uh, as you all may or may not know, uh, his Nair is pretty much by far his best aerial. It's not even close. Uh, I think it's, it starts on like frame 8 or something, and it starts like underneath him. It has a surprisingly large amount of priority. Like, it just slices through other moves without even trading a lot of the time. Not all the time, but like, it, it has more range and priority than it seems. So it's it's a very solid move, and it also auto cancels. That's going to be your go-to, and it's pretty much a pretty much does anything type of move. It like can edge guard in different situations. I can't think of a situation where it's a bad option. Like maybe there are situations it's not the best option, but I can't think of a situation where it's like, oh, this is a bad option. That's like how overall good the move is. <clears throat> so that's gonna be your go-to. When you're not sure what to do, just experiment with that move. See if it could be a good option, you never know. Oh, it's also really good around the ledge because it like, the whole thing counts. So whether it's in front of you or reverse, it doesn't matter. It just covers the ledge and it can beat buffered ledge jumps sometimes. So if you don't have time to set up your elaborate fireball setup, 
You can just run off and do that. You could, yeah, it's just really good. Uh, forward air, it is not something you use in neutral, but it could be used. It's good for edge guarding. So like, if you just want to hit somebody out of the air, whether it's edge guard or just any random situation, I feel like it could be good for that. It has decent landing lag and not much shield stun though. But so I don't think it'd be good for like short hop landing fair. I don't think that would be good. But that's just my current opinion. Bear is like a stronger fair with that lingers less long. So it's like you aim it accurately and you can get like a strong move. That's good for killing. So it's gonna be your best like. You want to kill them at a decent percent of among your aerials. Uh, up air is, I think, going to be really, really good uh, because it ha it just it's a you you have like giant wings and they just hit way above your head and it's like a huge lunge and I feel like I feel like that's probably going to be a second best aerial if I had to take a guess right now that I guess that that's most likely going to be a second best aerial after Nair because it's just so good at just hitting people out of the air. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's like it's res it's respectable considering like how you can frame trap with it and. Just overall, how decent a move is. It has pretty decent range and priority, in my opinion, from my little experience. On the opposite end of the spectrum, down air, I'm not a fan of the move. I can see how it's useful for landing, and it's going to have its uh, like you un like unique little gimmick that uh, you can just like oh stop your momentum in the air and then hit them. But I feel like as people r learn the Ridley matchup more, they're going to realize oh wait, this is the only way he can use that move, and he can't even really use it for edge guarding. So like if you're trying to edge guard someone below you, you can't really just like Wick of Charizard, since it, he's not committed to like using it, it there in a specific way, he can just go off and try to spike, and he doesn't have to risk killing himself. I'm not a big fan of like the the new Ridley Dare, but it does have its uses. You mainly just want to jump way above them, and then they have to respect the Dare. And if they're not respecting it, you can hit them for free. But if they're respecting it, you can do other stuff. Just like go to it, any uh, just do any other option that's like escaping them or something while they're respecting Dare. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah, it's 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 different. The thing I didn't like about it is because I like to go off stage and edge guard. I found it like okay, I can't really just dare because then I die and it doesn't even spike them. Or at least when I did when I tried it didn't spike them. So I found that a little annoying. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much what I think about Ridley. If you're asking where I think he's going to be on the tier list, unfortunately, I think he's actually low tier. And the reason I think this is because. Um, well, I do think he was good in a pro control meta, and he's good at lower levels of play, where you just throw someone off the stage and you double jump right away, and you hit him with like fair nair or something, even though it doesn't true combo. Um, like that, that can be good. He's he's good at like being a noob slayer and stuff, and he's really fun to use. And I really love Super Metroid, which is one of the reasons I picked him up and used him so much over the weekend. But if I'm being honest to his competitive viability, I think he's definitely one of the, one of one of the weaker heavies because. Uh, Mainly, it mostly comes down to his recovery, and I feel like at top level play, having an up B that bad, and then being forced to use like other options like your air dodge or your side B, which doesn't go far either. I feel like at top level play, as people get better at edge guarding, I feel like that specific thing is going to be exploited. And if they were to fix his up B, like make it faster and more super armor and be able to angle it better and all that, I feel like that would change a lot. But until then, I feel like that weakness is, is going to hold him back specifically. Another thing they could do is just make him stronger in general, because or stronger and or heavier in general. Because uh, I feel like his only really ridiculous kill move is like forward smash. I wasn't getting kills like below 100 often without using that. So one, one uh, big issue I noticed with Ridley actually was... Uh, well, while it is true that he's very good at juggling, I also think on the opposite end of the spectrum, he gets juggled pretty hard. And that's because, let's compare his Nair to Charizard's. Charizard starts above him and then it comes down, which means you can use it from early on to land and have a hitbox protect you, and auto cancel at the same time. So Charizard's Nair is probably better for landing than Ridley's Nair, for example, right? But then Ridley's Nair on the opposite end of the spectrum, it's better for like short hop Nair in neutral because it comes out right away and has big range and stuff. So while Ridley's Nair is better for like short hop Nairing compared to Charizard's, Charizard is better for using early in the air and then landing with. Now Charizard can also well, do other things, of course. Well, even, let's even pretend he can't switch Pokemon. Um, he can still do other stuff like, uh, like down air, and then you can still drift, and you have less landing lag, like 10 frames less landing lag in the last game. But uh, that's just one example where Ridley's committed to his dare. So Ridley doesn't really have a safe way to landing. He's just like his main gimmick is dare, and then unless you're air dodging to a platform, it's like there's no safe, consistent way to land at high level, in my opinion. So I think that that's one weakness. So he's an amazing juggler, but he also gets struggled. You're, one of the best strats might be to literally just jump high and then like either air dodge to the center platform or mix up drift or sometimes mix up the area or downer in there. But it's hitting someone in there when you're like above them is kind of more like a read. I found it a little, a little annoying to like try to land with Ridley when I was above somebody, especially if they have like a really broken upper. It's a, it's a strong strength is juggling and a big weakness. Oh, no. Also, I felt like his edge guarding, as long as they're not like ridiculously below the stage, it, he has good edge guarding. Because he can go below the stage and hit you, with like a fast fall, fair, nair, or whatever. 
But then, you know, if he misses, he has to use that horrible up B, and he's probably going to be ledge chopped down by anybody because up B just starts too slow. So it's usually not worth the risk. But yeah, um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on Ridley. Uh, I'm going to do this with a few more characters based on my experience, but that actually was the one I was playing the most. So let me know if your thoughts, and please subscribe because I'm going to do much, much, much more Smash, especially Ultimate content um, in, the com in the coming months, weeks, and days. Alright, see you around.